Welcome to Hotel Renovator. If you liked House Flipper, then this game is for you. Uh, I did some episodes on House Flipper a couple years ago on the channel, and uh, my design skills, well, they're lacking. But we're going to give this a try. Uh, I've been to the game once already just to give it a go. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to do play story mode. Uh, so it looks like we got like uh, a couple choices for an assistant. Uh, we'll just stick with uh, Sandra, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and play the story mode. Is this me pulling up in the van or what? Is it me and Sandra? Could be. It looks like we have an uninvited guest. Let's show her who's boss here. Catch her. Why don't you go catch her, Sandra? <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I, I should just mention this is the pre-release version, so if we see any, uh, anything odd or whatever, um, just be aware of that. Where, where did you go, Mr. Chicken? Uh, oh, 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 you're a fast little fella, aren't you? Or a lady. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Stop, stop running around. I didn't think you'd be able to do it, to be honest. Why am I looking at a chicken's butt? Her. Throw her out the window in the hallway. She'll like the big city. Uh, uh, there's like a checkpoint down here, so I guess I'm going this way. Just, just throw out the window. You know chickens really can't fly, really. I mean. The hotel is in disrepair. We need to put a lot of work into it. You think? And yet, we already have guests waiting to stay here. So let's get the first room ready. <laughs> we have guests waiting to stay here? Um, do they not know the place? Uh. Uh, room 101 is what I got to find. Let's see, these numbers are going up or down or what? Okay, so odd numbers are on this side, going down. Okay, now the odd numbers are here. Room 101. Look at all this stuff. Let's start by earning some money on this old painting. Uh, what painting? Talking about this one on, on the wall here? Uh, pick up or hold the cell? Use the crowbar to dispose of the junk cluttering this place. Oh, I see. So the upper right hand corner back. is our cash. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and. Oop. Let's see. Hold the right mouse and select the remove tool. Hit for a stronger. Yeah, okay. Now it's coming back to me here. Well, yeah. Crowbar. Time to remove some stuff. I don't think any of this stuff is really sellable. Maybe the lamp is. Got a lot of demolishing to do. But we, we have guests that want to stay here? <laughs> Where do they do their booking through? That's what I want to know. Uh, let's open up this door. Oh, well, yeah, the bathroom is uh, looking wonderful. On the right-hand side, you can see how much I got more to demolish. Walls, floors, trash. All right, let me get some of the wall done here. Press and hold for a bigger smash. That on off. Can I get a whole wall done? Oh, I can. Okay. Now let's get some of this floor out of here. Uh, 
And this is almost the entire bathroom taken care of. That's right, you better do the ceiling as well. Yeah, so pressing and holding the button, you can get a whole much more done. I do have $100,000, which seems like a lot, so we'll see how far that can get us. Can I, can I sell that? No, that was just trash. All right. Get the crowbar back out here. Uh, I didn't quite get the whole wall. I think if you hold, like, height-wise in the middle, you can get the whole from wall from top to bottom. Uh, I gotta do the ceiling as well. This makes me laugh, though, when, I, when she said, Oh, we got people that want to stay here. And I'm looking at the room going, Huh? All right, how am I doing here? All right, let me, let me finish smashing up the rest of this here. It's going to take me about a minute. on the floor after all that mayhem you caused. Uh-huh. You've got some cleaning up to do. So you say. Uh, okay, we get ourselves a broom out and then press and hold for a long time and sweep. And sweep. So this is what the bathroom looks like currently. Um... <laughs> We'll, we'll get a bathroom back in. That's a one heck of a sweeper. Perfect. Not now quite. It's time for a new floor and walls. Choose something modern and tasteful. Now this is where my renovating skills lack. Uh, <laughs> this ought to be good. Uh, yeah, I remember this from, uh, testing it on out. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Let's do the walls, which include the ceiling. Uh, we'll go ahead and paint. And probably a white ceiling. Yeah, we'll just stick with this color right here. And this is a little bit interesting how this works on out, but... Uh, we'll get as far as we can here without having to move. Just pencil in the areas that you want to be covered. The, the kind of thing I like about this is, um, like if I go down the wall, it, it stays to the platform that you're on. So uh, I can't mistakenly paint a wall a color that I've already painted. All right, we'll release that and then... The painting shall begin in some areas. Let me get this all taken care of here. Get rid of all this dingy walls and ceiling that we have. All right, might as well go into the bathroom and do this. Got to make Sandra proud because she's giving me all the instructions I need to do. There we go. Now it's getting a little bit brighter in here. Um, yeah, now, now the wall. Uh, yeah, this is where this is where I'm going to be uh, terrible at selecting paint colors. Oh, wow. Uh, that, that might be a little bit too much. Um, no, I want to select...
Quartz gray? Let's see what this looks like. We'll paint one wall here to see. You know, I'm trying to pick a neutral color. Yeah, we'll go with it. Miles is this. Go with the punches, I suppose. Get the entryway done here. Kind of interesting how we paint walls and do the flooring and all that. I'm going to paint the bathroom a different color though. don't want it all to be this color. So as I was saying before, see I'm painting this wall here. If I try to do the ceiling, it won't do that. It'll stick to the wall and I can't even go over to this wall to paint it. So it's like you only can do one surface at a time. If it, if there's any angles or whatever, you got to start over. Well, at least it's starting to look a little bit better in here. Kind of interesting how the ceiling doesn't go all the way up. Can I get that in that corner? There, there we go. I don't know what time our guests are supposed to be arriving, but uh, need to get this done. Money's going down at a slow rate for painting these walls. I don't even got furniture in here yet. All right, uh, let's go ahead and pick what does this color look like? Let's pick a different color for the window area, I suppose. All right, uh, let's go into the bathroom here, and I don't know, is there like a, oops, is there like a bluish color? Nope, not, uh, not that one, a tab. I mean, that's too blue. I don't know. Let's roll with it. Knock off this wall here as quickly as we can. And then we'll throw down some carpet. Not in the bathroom, though. No carpet in the bathroom. Would like to be able to put up some lights first so I can kind of see a little bit better in some areas. When I was uh, playing earlier, I just uh, went ahead and finished up this room. So I don't know how many rooms there are in the hotel or what whatnot, but uh, I guess we'll find out as we go. So the ceiling's done. 
All right, so while we're letting that finish up in here, uh, let's go ahead and see floors. And we want to do carpet. That kind of looks like a little bit of a tile, but uh, we'll go with it. Get rid of all this dingy flooring. We'll hide it. They'll never know. See if I can get it all done in one go. Yeah, I think we started with $100,000, so, you know, I'm not spending too much on this room yet. Make sure I didn't miss anything. All right, that, that looks good for a carpet, I suppose. Uh, now we need some tile. Other? I don't know what other is. What's other? Grass. I don't think we want grass. Uh, ceramic tile. All right, we'll go with this. A lot of choices, uh, 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 you know, and I think, um, if I remember correctly, when I was doing the furniture, when I was uh, testing out the game, as your hotel levels up, You'll unlock different choices and all that kind of fun stuff. So, so for beginners, uh, beginning hotel, that's not a now bad for start. The most pleasant part, furnishing. Let's start with beds. Guests need to have something to sleep on, after all. Fresh new carpet. What's wrong with the fresh new carpet, Sandra? Uh, all right, let's go into. Oh, you're gonna give me the option. Gotta wait for the game to let me have the option. Uh, yeah, I know how to do this, so right mouse button furniture. Uh, we'll start off with some beds. So if I scroll, it will tell me, yeah. Uh, so like this bed here unlocks at hotel rank one. We are at hotel rank zero. Um, rotate the bed that way, I suppose, and... Uh, let's go ahead and put the bed on this wall here. Uh, boy, it's kind of hard to snap it in the in the center. Well, it doesn't snap. Let me just put it that way. I'm trying to get it. There we go. Close enough. All right. So I got the bed in. Um, we need a couple of these in the room. Apparently, uh, can we sneak one there? And sneak one there. That works. All right. Now we need like a table somewhere. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Oh, can't unlock. We don't have that one unlocked. We'll go with the most like most basic stuff. Uh, maybe we'll put it here. Yeah, that'll, that'll be good there because that way, like if you uh, you and your guests want to sit together, you can both look outside a window. All right, now we need apparently a couch. Oh, no, don't, don't have that one unlocked yet. That looks kind of fancy. And then, let's see, now we need a little table like this, apparently. What are my other options? Well, that'll fit right there. Uh, let's see, well, that looks like a, not a good chair to be sitting in. 
Now let's rotate it like this. We'll stick that in the corner. Do I have room for all this stuff? Let's see, I need something like this in the room apparently. Gotta have one of these. Uh, let's go ahead and put this like in here somewhere. All right, and apparently we need a couple of shelves. I don't know, just put like one there. And one there. Lovely. Now for the bathroom. Then we're good to go. Are we? Uh, okay, let's go into the bathroom here. Uh, let's see. We need one sink. Oh, no, that's a tub. Sorry. Um, you know what? That looks actually pretty nice. We'll stick that in the corner, like right there. It doesn't say we need a shower, but um, we're going to put one in. Uh, a toilet would be very helpful. And we'll stick that like right there. Because why not? See, we need a sink. That's not unlocked yet. That's not unlocked yet. Uh, we'll go with this one here. And now we need something like this. Uh, sure. Why not? Oh, we need two of those in the room. Well, not two of the exact ones, but something like that. There we go. Uh, what's the next thing on the list we got to put up? A uh, couple of... Oh, towel racks. Well, I'll put one by the shower here, like right here. And how about one over here by the bathtub? And now we just need a couple of items here. Uh, we'll put a cup there, I guess. And like shampoo over here for them. This room is missing some final touch. Add some cool lights, paintings, and standing decorations. Yes, ma'am. Right on it. Uh, where are those decorations? All right, so we need four of, looks like just basic items. Uh, we'll put a clock in here because, you know, you got to know what time it is. Uh, put a clock somewhere in here. Okay, so what else have we got here? Um, do that. And do that. That way you can put like fruit and stuff in there. I have no idea. All right, so now we need some pictures. If I can find them here. There we go. That is a big picture. Uh, go ahead and hang that there. And we'll put one right there. Now it says like we need a plant somewhere. Uh, we'll put one of these like in the bathroom here, I think. Or not. Can I get that in there? All right, maybe not. Uh, okay, we'll just put that like right there. All right, so we need like a couple of lamps. 
Uh, that will probably work. We'll do it like that. And now we need like a couple of them on the wall, apparently. Uh, we'll just go like one there. We'll call that close enough. <laughs> I kind of wish they would snap at the same height so to uh, line it up for you. But then again, I am playing on the pre-release version, so maybe maybe that will be a thing when it gets released. Uh, no, I need ceiling lamps. Uh, we need a couple of them. Uh, we don't have any light coming on in, so let's go ahead and stick one there. Stick one there. If your design is ready, you can make the room available for guests. Almost. We need some lights in, in the bathroom. Uh, put one over the shower. And put one over the tub. And, of course, put one near the toilet. Well, no, if I got one in every corner, I might as well just go ahead and just put one here. That ought to be good. Um, are, are we done? So overall, I spent uh, $5,500 to get this room up and going. Yeah, I didn't see any TVs or anything like that yet. But then again, our hotel is a rank zero or was a rank zero. It looks like in the upper left-hand corner, we're now like a 1.2 star hotel by getting one room done. Uh, I, I think I'm all set to go ahead and finish the renovation for our first room. So now we get to see a before and after. Let's see what how it looks. So yeah, the before, and I actually like the after. It's actually the way you got the room designed. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool how it shows that. Then you can check on the bathroom before and after. Actually, that blue doesn't look that bad in there in this picture. But when I walk in there, it looks a little bit darker. Not too bad. Uh, book the room. Our first guests have checked in, and they look satisfied. Check Are, out the booking app. You must be the guest. So, $200 a day for the room. All right. Uh, let's see. It says, check out the booking app. So, let's come up here to our tablet. Now, we got a tablet. Uh, the booking app. Every room has a cleanliness level. When guests leave, this level goes down. Uh, got it. Although, they're, they're highlight. I don't know what they're highlighting here. I think the highlights are a little bit off here. Task for the room unlock. Okay, got it. Uh, guest satisfaction depends on the cleanliness level of the room and other influencing. Keep them happy. Here is a summary of all your current income and expenses. Yeah, the highlight is shown over here, but it's actually right here. Got it. Uh, this window shows all the information you need to, about your hotel's state. Remember to keep your guests satisfied. Uh, I think that's supposed to be the top bar. Guest 1, Satisfaction 10. Renovation progress, 8%. Uh, press here and hover over icons to see what they do. Uh, I'm not really sure they're highlighting this, but I'm not sure what that's supposed to be highlighting. But we can figure it out as we go along. Press the power button or to close the tablet. So right here is where we close the tablet. Uh, let's back up. Now, there are skills, apparently. Um, but I got to progress in the storyline before we can unlock those. And a journal, introduction, catch the chicken, approach the window, throw out the chicken. We did all that, so. Uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go along here. Um, can I back up here? Characters, collectibles, uh, booking, and tips on a how to do stuff. All right, uh, let's exit out of that. You can fast forward the time by pressing add. The, uh, time speed impacts cleanliness and income. Got it. Go to the lobby. Found this letter addressed to us. Looks like Grandpa left it. Come and check it out. Where did our guest go? Do 
Don't know where she went. Would you stay here? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now, the interesting thing is she said, can I, can I jump off the rail? She said, uh, Grandpa left us a note. I thought she was my assistant, but now she sounds like she's... Like, maybe my sister or something? Because she said, our grand... Didn't she say, our grandpa left us a note? Okay, we're, we're here. Alright, let me get rid of this, uh... Okay, maybe not. Oh, have to pick up the letter. Dear kids, welcome to my hotel. I hope you'll have fun returning it to its former glory. You'll be surprised what you might find at the end of the road. Enjoy the journey. Roy Bennett. I was right. This letter really is from our grandpa. She says our grandpa. We can make him proud. So you're my assistant, but possibly my sister. I, I, I don't know. Either way. Ooh, there goes our hotel ranking up to level one. I'm a master at this. New quality level unlocked. New furniture unlocked. That is a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff we just unlocked. Got it. Yeah, throw throw it all in there. There we go. Here we go. Let's make a name for this place and start working. Uh okay. I, I didn't go this far when I was testing it. Um how do you pick a name? Oh, okay, that well there we go. Uh, let's see. Got to get ourselves a logo. So these are all the logos. Okay. Uh, um, that kind of looks like an anchor. Uh, kind of like this one. Cause it's kind of simple. Like me plain and simple. Uh, a hotel name. Um, Uh, let me just think here for a second here. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 wait a minute. This might work. The step back in. Uh, two reasons. Uh, yeah, step back in. Come on back. Or when you approach the, ho the hotel, you want to step back after seeing it. Uh, that's, that's what we're going to go with. Um, yes. All right, Sandra, is that is that all we have to do here? This place is a complete mess. I think we should probably pick up the lobby, don't you think? Oh, good evening. My name is Vlad... Yeah. Romanscu. I'm staying tonight and I have a few uh, modest uh, re requirements. I like silence, and if I'm disturbed, well, let's say I can't get rather... I can get rather hot-blooded. Light irritates my sensitive eyes, so I'll need some dark curtains, and please remove any mirrors. Um, alright. Um, so you say. I, I wanted to kind of clean up the lobby a little bit, but uh, if I got a guest coming, I guess, uh, that's what we gotta do. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll continue that at another time, I suppose. I think one room right now is good. Uh, yeah, but we gotta clean up the lobby. I wonder if cleaning up the lobby... Service unavailable. Service unavailable. I'm trying to pick up all this trash that's here. It's kind of hard to look at all this trash here. Can I sweep the floor? That might be just better. At least make the entryway look somewhat pleasant. Ooh, what the heck? 
Oh, I see. It's lifting up the furniture so I can sweep underneath it. Okay. <laughs> it's like, what the heck's going on, man? That's why I guess what's going on here. They at least make the entryway look a little bit better. I mean, that, that that's a start, don't you think? That, that's a slight little start. But anyways, uh, that's going to be day one here for Hotel Renovator. Um, as you're seeing this episode, it should be going out the same day, uh, which is Tuesday, March 7th, I do believe, is what they say is going to be released on. So, um, yeah, if you like uh, House Flipper, or if you never played House Flipper and you saw me do this episode here and you like what you see, uh, go check it on out and uh, see if it's uh, what you want to be getting involved in. But we'll be doing a few more episodes on this anyways, uh, see where it kind of takes us. Uh, it's kind of nice to actually have a storyline. That's kind of interesting. Um, but we'll see where me and Sandra go. My assistant slash sister slash whatever she might actually be. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we got plenty more rooms to go. Let's see uh, what we can unlock and let's see how ugly I can make these rooms. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in house. Uh, sorry, Hotel Renovator. But until then, have a good one.